-hmm. Pain or something. Uh, they were actually just 10 months old, and they're currently three and a half right now. When they came here, they only weighed just between 17 and 22 pounds. They were extremely malnourished, riddled with mites, worms, and other parasites. So, to get them strong and healthy, our keepers focused on their digestive systems first. They fed them bland diets of warm oatmeal with cut up apples and grapes in them. Soon after they were nice and strong and healthy, these bears were craving the social attention they were receiving from their mother. So, our keepers took a step in and acted as mother bear for them. Until they were about 18 months old, when the bear started Feeding us too? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's our snack. <laughs> Come on, kills you. Come get your sedge. I know you love it. Doesn't it be mean y'all ever touch it? Um, we don't ever go in with the bears. Um, we do touch them occasionally for you know for medical reasons when we're giving them health checks and things like that. But it's it's all through protective contact. That they will stay here forever. They will, yep. These are eight permanent residents we've rescued. Uh, well, the bears are here because they're orphans, not oh. because they're injured. Oh, okay. Their moms die when they're too young, too inexperienced to learn how to forage for food on their own. Um, they're, when they're left behind, more often than not, the state ends up sending a trooper out to shoot, to shoot little pups. Aww. So that's what these guys are doing. Right. They were scheduled to be euthanized. We wanted to give them an alternative to that.
<laughs> wow, that's nice. Oh, <laughs> Are you sure this one? Yeah. Have you seen any blood? No. Have you seen anybody take a bite out of the other one? No. Yeah, it's probably fine. <coughs> Yeah, and I walk him with a corner. Mm -hmm. Okay, when you come outside. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.